Hello, my name is Maura Doyle, and today I will be presenting Developmental Coordination Disorder and the Presence of Cardiovascular Risk Factors, a Case Control Study Proposal. Developmental Coordination Disorder, or DCD, is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by a marked impairment in the performance of motor skills, which cannot be attributed to a general medical condition or cognitive impairment. According to the DSM-5, children meet the criteria for a diagnosis of DCD if their acquisition and execution of coordinated motor skills is substantially below what would be expected for their age and opportunities for skill learning. If this motor deficit significantly and persistently interferes with activities of daily living, if the symptoms of DCD began in early childhood, and the symptoms cannot be explained by other conditions, such as an intellectual disability or neurological condition. Children with developmental coordination disorder demonstrate movements that are slow, clumsy, or inaccurate. They have difficulty with predictive motor control, learning new motor skills, rhythmic coordination, and executive function. It is estimated that at least 6% of children aged 5 to 11 years meet the diagnostic criteria for DCD. This incidence qualifies DCD as one of the most common disorders among school-aged children. Despite the myth that children with DCD outgrow their clumsiness, evidence indicates that their motor difficulties persist into adolescence and adulthood. Due to their difficulties with motor coordination, children with DCD may choose to avoid physical activity and engage in more sedentary forms of leisure and recreation. Several studies have indicated that children with DCD report less frequent participation in physically active play as compared to their peers with typical motor development. This tendency toward physical inactivity may place children with DCD at an increased risk for developing health conditions associated with a sedentary lifestyle, such as reduced cardiorespiratory fitness, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. These conditions may in turn lead to the development of cardiovascular disease in adulthood. Previous studies have examined the presence of risk factors for cardiovascular disease, such as reduced cardiorespiratory fitness levels and increased percentage of body fat among children with DCD. A cross-sectional study of 571 elementary school students conducted by Fott and colleagues demonstrated that DCD was associated with increased body fat percentage and decreased cardiorespiratory fitness as measured by a 20 meter shuttle run. Schott and colleagues reported similar results in their cross-sectional study of 261 elementary school students. In this study, children with DCD had higher rates of obesity and overweight and poorer performance on tests of cardiorespiratory fitness than their typically developing peers. Carney et al. conducted a longitudinal cohort study of 2,083 students attending elementary school in Canada whose cardiorespiratory endurance was assessed with a 20-meter shuttle run repeated five times over a three-year period. They found that children with DCD had significantly lower levels of cardiorespiratory fitness as compared to their typically developing peers at baseline, and this difference persisted over the three-year study period. Metabolic syndrome refers to a cluster of cardiometabolic risk factors, including abdominal obesity, hypertension, insulin resistance, and dyslipidemia. One study by Wahi and colleagues sought to determine the presence of metabolic syndrome in children with DCD. In their case control study of 63 children with DCD and 63 children without DCD, they found no significant difference between these groups for the presence of metabolic syndrome. However, when the components of metabolic syndrome were examined separately, more children in the DCD group had abdominal obesity, elevated triglyceride levels, and high blood pressure. The reviewed studies indicate that children with DCD demonstrate risk factors for cardiovascular disease. However, no studies have examined whether these risk factors persist in adolescence. Further research is needed to determine whether a childhood diagnosis of developmental coordination disorder increases the risk of developing conditions related to cardiovascular disease in adolescence. My study would determine if high school students with a diagnosis of DCD have lower levels of cardiorespiratory fitness 
a higher prevalence of obesity and or overweight, and a higher prevalence of metabolic syndrome than their peers without DCD. Determining if cardiovascular risk factors are present in adolescents with DCD would highlight an important opportunity for preventative intervention. The physical therapy management of children and adolescents with DCD primarily focuses on remediating their motor skill deficits. However, the presence of cardiovascular risk factors in adolescents with DCD would support the need for intervention to target physical inactivity and cardiorespiratory health in this population. Intervening in both childhood and adolescence may prevent the development of conditions that may result in negative health outcomes in adulthood. The hypothesis of this study is that high school students with a diagnosis of developmental coordination disorder will demonstrate a higher prevalence of conditions associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease than high school students without a diagnosis of developmental coordination disorder. The aims of this study are to determine if high school students with a diagnosis of DCD have lower levels of cardiorespiratory fitness than high school students without DCD, to determine if high school students with a diagnosis of DCD have a higher prevalence of obesity or overweight than high school students without DCD, and to determine if high school students with a diagnosis of DCD have a higher prevalence of metabolic syndrome than high school students without DCD. This study will employ a case control design. Participants with DCD will be recruited through contacting physical and occupational therapists who work with children and adolescents with DCD in clinics or the school system. Patients will also be recruited through DCD advocacy organizations and support groups in the New York City metropolitan area. Participants without DCD will be recruited from public high schools in the New York City metropolitan area. High school students with and without DCD will be eligible to participate if they are between the ages of 13 and 17 years. The independent variable in this study is a diagnosis of DCD. Data on the independent variable will be collected through the Movement Assessment Battery for Children, or Movement ABC. The Movement ABC is a standardized, norm-referenced assessment of motor coordination that is commonly used clinically and in research to identify children and adolescents with DCD. This test is appropriate for children aged three years, zero months to 16 years, 11 months. The movement ABC will be administered to the case participants to confirm their diagnosis of DCD. The movement ABC will also be administered to the control participants to ensure that they do not have motor coordination difficulties. The dependent variables in this study are cardiorespiratory fitness, body composition, and the components of metabolic syndrome. Data on cardiorespiratory fitness will be collected through the Legere 20 meter shuttle run test, a field test that can be used to calculate peak aerobic power in children and adolescents. Body composition will be assessed by collecting height and weight data to calculate BMI. Several forms of data will be collected to measure the components of metabolic syndrome. Blood pressure data will be collected through auscultation. Data on abdominal obesity will be collected through waist circumference measurement. To gather data on dyslipidemia and insulin resistance, blood samples will be collected and analyzed to determine total cholesterol, LDL and HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, and glucose. This slide lists the references that I consulted in developing this proposal, and these are the rest of the references. Thank you for your attention. My contact information is listed on this slide. Thank you again and have a great day.